All right, Math One, we are going to do the homework help. We didn't get a chance to go over the warm up, so let me see if. All right, so it says solve an answer. So in order to solve this equation, you want to move the variables to the same side first. So I'm going to add 4x to move it over here. This is going to give me 10x. Bring down the minus 8, bring down the equal. Negative 4x plus 4x is 0, and we're left with negative 12. We are going to add 8 to both sides of the equal sign so that we can get x by itself. Here, we got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 4, negative 4. We're going to divide both sides by 10, and this gives us x is equal to a negative, well, let's divide the top and the bottom by 2. So that gives us a negative 2 over 5. Okay. And we do the same thing over here. All right. How many solutions does this equation have? It has only one solution. It has one solution. And the solution here is x is equal to this negative 2 over 5. And you should be able to do the second one the very same way. Okay. All righty. Okay, so all of these are kind of the same. You know, you're going to solve an equation for this, for the um, warm-up for tomorrow. And then here, the warm-up for tomorrow, you write the equation. Half of a number, okay? You don't know what the number is. So you got one-half x plus 8 is equal to 14 minus a number, that same number x, okay? All right, and then you solve. You move the x's to the same side, so you can add 1x to the same side. So this is 1 and 1x, 1 and 1 and, I'm sorry, 1 and a half x plus the uh, 8, Bring down the equal, bring down the 14. And I can write this as a decimal because it'd probably be easier to solve if it's written as a decimal. So this is 0.5. All right, so subtract 8 on both sides. We got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is 6 here. Okay, this is gone. And you're left with 1.5x. You're going to divide both sides by a 1.5. And we get 6. You get 6 divided by 1.5, and that gives us 4. So x is equal to 4. How many solutions? It's only one solution, and the one solution is 4, okay? All right. So now let's look at the homework for tonight. The homework for tonight is on functions and function. Well, we saw functions. This week we're studying our notes on functions and function notation. Okay, so a function is when your x values do not repeat. So if it's a function, that means your x values do not repeat. Function, where the x values do not repeat. All the x values are different. Where x values or the domain values do not repeat. Okay, it passes the vertical line test, which means again, when you move the vertical line across the graph, that line does not touch the vertical line that you're moving from left to right more than once at the same time. So let's look at let's look at this relation, which is a set of ordered pairs. We're going to underline just the x values, just the domain values, okay, to see if they're all different. We got 10, negative 2, negative 6, positive 5. We got positive 8, negative 11. They're all different. So yes, this is this relation is a function. Yes, this relation, set of ordered pairs, is a function because all the x values are different. So you're going to do the same thing here, okay? Same thing on this one. Look and see if the x values are all different. If they're all different, if none of them repeat, then yes, it's a function. All right, let's look at the x values here. This x value is the same as this one. Any other ones that are the same? So see how these repeat? So this, is, this relation is not a function. No, this relation is not a function. And all you're looking at is the x values, not the y. The y's can repeat. They can all be the same. But the x values have to be different. No, this relation is not a function. 
And why? Because the x values repeat. Okay? So now let's look at this uh, mapping. So this ordered pair is, goes from negative 1 to 8, 0 to 8, 4 to negative 6, 7 to negative 2. This is 8, comma, negative 2, 12, comma, 5 and 13 comma 17. None of these x values repeat. You don't see two lines coming from the x, from any of these x's. Yes, this relation is a function. Yes, this relation is a function. Okay? And then now you have to use the vertical line for this. So look, so far, the x values are not the same. All these x values are different. You see, all of them are different. It's here, this x value is the same as this x value down here. These ordered pairs would have the same x. All these ordered pairs within here would have the same x value. So this, as you move a vertical line from left to right, it fails the vertical line test. The, line, the graph touches up here and here. It's hard to see because this pencil is so fat. But these x values are the same here and here. It's on the same vertical line. It's, the graph is on the same vertical line. So this fails the vertical line test. This x value, this ordered pair has an x value of 1, 1 comma 3. This has the same x value as well, 1 comma negative something and some change. Okay? So no, this relation is not a function. These set of ordered pairs or this line is not a function. <clears throat> Please go back and study your notes on functions, uh, f and f of x, and function notation, okay? All right, y'all. Have a good one. Bye.